upload your consciousness into this place where the Holy Ghost is God. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and then let's, let's look at verse 1. Now, concerning spiritual gifts brethren and you know that oftentimes when you see the italics there it's just an english word added to help us out doesn't always help you out but it's there they're hoping it will but it literally says now concerning spiritual things or things pertaining to the spirit mm -hmm. things pertaining we could say things pertaining to the holy ghost say that things, things pertaining, pertaining. pertaining. To the Holy Ghost brethren I would not have you ignorant so he's writing this to people that could brethren that could possibly be ignorant about things pertaining to the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. you say how could that be well it be otherwise he wouldn't have written this mm -hmm. now I have many things that I can share with you pertaining to the Holy Ghost so if you have ears to hear you'll be able to get the things that i have first corinthians chapter 12 verse 8 for to one is given by the spirit the spirit who's the spirit the holy ghost, the holy ghost is the spirit he's the one giving the gift for to one is given by the spirit a word of wisdom a word of wisdom say a word. a word now it's one word and oftentimes that single word that he gives you will encapsulate a whole realm of other things that comes in that one capsule that he gave you and then it expands in you he gives you a word and that word goes in you and then expands in you into something great mm -hmm. because it's the Holy Ghost who's giving you a word mm -hmm. so I have a word for you tonight the word only and I'm gonna take you through it tonight inside that word only it will expand until it's all consuming say only only uh, Romans chapter 15 verse 16 ministering the gospel of God being sanctified by the Holy Ghost so this gospel is going to sanctify by the Holy Ghost or through the Holy Ghost or into the Holy Ghost say into the Holy Ghost into the Holy Ghost the word sanctified means set apart it means holy it means removed from other things and set into something else it means consecrated into the Holy Ghost the gospel should consecrate you into the Holy Ghost set you apart into the Holy Ghost now this word holy this word sanctified this word consecrated this these words set apart can be encapsulated in the word only because you're set apart to only you know people might not like this message but I already know that the Holy Ghost likes that I'm even going to attempt to talk about this just attempting it because some people wouldn't go here you know that right some people would not even go where I've gone so far and said the things I've said they wouldn't go here but he gets a kick out of it that I'm even attempting to go here. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter six, and then verse sixteen. And what agreement? Say agreement. agreement. We talk about agreement here a lot, don't we? Mm -hmm. Who are we to be in agreement with? 
the Holy Ghost right what agreement has the temple of God with idols for you are the temple of the living God who should the temple of the living God be in agreement with the Holy Ghost the living God and to be in agreement means to be saying the same things as God hath said I will walk in them and I will be their God and they will be my people who is the God in the earth today that walks in you Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost Jesus said he'd send another and that another would be with you mm -hmm. that's the day we're in the another is the Holy Ghost here he's saying he's the living God we have other verses I'm not gonna take you there but other verses say that mm -hmm. but the Holy Ghost is what no you're not your body's the temple of the living God the Holy Ghost as God hath said I will dwell in them and walk in them I will be their God they will I will be their God he said I will be their God he said I will be their God who said I will be their God the, Holy Ghost. the one who's gonna walk in you the Living God who is the Holy Ghost whose temple you are he will be your God is this too radical who's my God in the earth today I'm in the earth he came into the earth mm -hmm. I'm his temple what no you not mm -hmm. things pertaining to the Holy Ghost he's my God mm -hmm. I will be their God who will be their God Holy Ghost mm -hmm. they shall be my people wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate saith the Lord be ye separate be ye set apart be ye consecrated be ye only say only. only only is a word of consecration only is a word of being set apart only is a word of being sanctified I will walk in them I will dwell in them come out from among them and be ye separate lots of times you got to come out from people from among them who don't worship the Living God yes. there's a lot of people who would hear the words that I'm saying now and oh completely turn them off some of those people you got to come out from among mm -hmm. and be separate because if you're gonna be separate unto him only they only, only. then all that other stuff you, you kind of have to come out of it snap out of it come out from among them and be ye separate be ye sanctified be ye holy unto the Lord your God in the earth the only is his word it's a godly word and if you're gonna be separated you're gonna be separated from the stuff that isn't only mm -hmm. and unto him only say unto him yeah. only oh unto him only is consecration unto him only is holiness mm -hmm. unto him only is being set apart yes. if you're not only you're not set apart you're not consecrated you're not sanctified the way you should be sure. there is only one Holy Ghost now we can describe at great length and we have before who that real Holy Ghost is he would be the one that's in the earth he would be the one that Jesus sent from the right hand of the Father mm -hmm. he would be the one that you're the temple of that you should be walking with there's only one Holy Ghost there's not two Holy Ghosts there's not three Holy Ghosts there's only one this is too difficult there's only one Holy Ghost is he God mm -hmm. yes all right things you must have established if you're gonna go where we're talking about tonight mm -hmm. and I recommend it but I'm not saying it won't mess up a lot of your other stuff but you'll get better stuff so there's only one Holy Ghost is he God yes is he in the earth today yes so you're saying there's only one Holy Ghost he's in the earth and he's God 
there's only one God in the earth today is this true yes. his name is the Holy Ghost he's in the earth there's only one God in the earth say only. only Isaiah chapter 45 verse 5 I am the Lord and there is none else there is no God besides me I girded thee though thou hast not known me I am the Lord and there is none else there's other verses of scriptures and other translations that say God looked around how would he have this knowledge that there are he because he looked around mm -hmm. he looked around everywhere high and low and in the earth and he found no other God mm -hmm. besides him mm -hmm. there's no other God he looked around he looked over here he looked over there and there were no other gods except him say there were no other gods, no other gods. Except, him. except him now do you suppose the Holy Ghost could do that and say that today in the earth yes. Yes. he's in the earth he came into the earth on the day of Pentecost he could have got up and looked around like he'd need to <laughs> got up and looked around and said there's no other gods besides me are you here yes. sanctified unto the Holy Ghost consecrated unto the Holy Ghost if there's no other God in the earth today then he is the Lord God only mm -hmm. in the earth so when I say Holy Ghost only ever heard me say that when I say Holy Ghost only that's exactly what I'm talking about I'm not diminishing the Father or Jesus but I'm saying in the earth there's only one part of the Godhead in the earth today and his name is the Holy Ghost he's the only God in the earth today when I say Holy Ghost only that's what I'm talking about I walk around with him only if you can get this it'll set you free the Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth today and we walk with him we walk with him by saying words but we walk with him say with him yeah. I will dwell in them I will be their God and we worship him this is where people oh that's a step too far then you haven't gone far enough with all the things I've just said if he's God he's in the earth then God should be worshiped over and over the Bible talks about worshiping God mm -hmm. pretty big topic in the Bible worshiping God the problem is you don't know that the Holy Ghost is God and that he's the one in the earth mm -hmm. what no you not right. you worship him I know him as God and I worship him as God I've come to this place of knowledge of knowing the Holy Ghost you want me to give you what I have mm -hmm. I've come to this place of knowing that the Holy Ghost is God he's the only God in the earth today you think he likes this I can tell he likes this well behind this veil and I'll talk about that in a little bit but behind this veil things are different it's not the same as on the other side of the veil it's not the same as over there over where I was before before I came into this knowing of him as God it's different this is different yeah that's different brother no this really is different it's a new reality that we get to walk in second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away if the veil's taken away you're gonna see something that you didn't see before you'll have some understanding that you didn't have before I would not have you ignorant the veil was taken away now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit is lord there is liberty a kind of liberty you can't have unless the spirit is lord unless you have that revelation changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or the spirit who is lord or the spirit lord is that different than what most people are being taught then they're not behind the veil but I love it over here and I'm not going back 
I mean you want to bring people with you but if they come along they come along mm -hmm. if they don't should I stop enjoying what I'm enjoying should I stop being changed from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord I don't think so well I've been separated unto only a lot of people haven't I know what I'm talking about I know that the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today Holy Ghost only mm -hmm. and I walk with him only I've been separated unto him only mm -hmm. now last week I went on at length about how Jesus say Jesus, Jesus. you remember him right mm -hmm. how over and over and over he was attempting to introduce people to the Holy Ghost yes. in fact he when he first got filled with the Spirit came out of the water John the Baptist baptized him he went into the wilderness being led by the Spirit mm -hmm. then came out of the wilderness returned in the power of the Spirit and began to preach everywhere that the Spirit of the Lord was on him mm -hmm. his message was about the Spirit of the Lord and he said you will receive the Holy Ghost after I leave yes. I'm gonna send another that was a huge part of his message but Jesus was revealing the Holy Ghost the one who would come after him mm -hmm. first Corinthians 2 verse 4 and this is Paul my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power the word demonstration means revealing mm -hmm. so Paul's speech Paul's preaching mm -hmm. was a revealing or an unveiling say an unveiling, an unveiling of the Spirit and his power who's the Spirit Holy the Holy Ghost and his power mm -hmm. I would not have you ignorant he went on talking about it that was in chapter 12 verse 5 that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are you here yeah. where should your faith be wait your faith your belief your belief system your religion what you believe shouldn't your religion be based in what the scripture says here that not in the wisdom of men or the doctrines of men but in the power of God your faith should be in the power of God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. say my faith, my faith should be, should be in, the in the power of God, God. The, Holy the Holy Ghost only would you be wrong to say that well as I was meditating on this and by, by meditating I mean saying it I would say this often over and over again my speech and my preaching is not in words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and power that your faith will be in the power of God mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost I'd say that I'd say that I'd say that's how I was meditating on it I was getting it down on the inside of me and as I did that I heard a small word from behind me say only at that point I would recognized that it was an angel speaking I said God what is this what's with this angel and you know what he said he said he speaks the word only only and it's not adding to scripture don't write me nasty letters it's not adding to scripture it's clarifying that that's where your faith should be isn't that true your faith should be in the power of God that's what Paul was saying there so I ended up calling him the only angel so I've been given this word only and I intend to use it well in the word only is everything you're serving God only you're worshiping him only you're walking with him only it would have to be in there well this has become my belief this has become my faith 
let me read it again my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration or unveiling of the spirit and his power that your faith would be in what was unveiled the spirit mm -hmm. and his power your faith should be in the unveiled spirit and his power say my faith, my faith. Should, be should be in the unveiled, the unveiled. Spirit, spirit and his power only. only this has become my faith this has become my religion there's only one God in the earth that there's only one spirit in the earth today there's only one Holy Ghost in the earth today I walk with him by speaking in agreement mm -hmm. with his words you can't criticize me from a biblical perspective or from reality that the Holy Ghost is God and he's in the earth today and I walk with him why wouldn't that be my religion mm -hmm. Holy Ghost only well I dare you to worship the Holy Ghost as God and come out from among them and be ye separate saith the Lord I'm telling you it will change your life Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve got a problem with me you got a problem with scripture I'm worshiping the Lord my God I've come to know that the Holy Ghost is the Lord my God in the earth today there's only one God in the earth today he's only one spirit I worship the Lord my God and him only shall I serve well I have come to know him the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord as God as the Lord my God say as the Lord my God as the Lord my God he's the only God in the earth today mm -hmm. and I walk with him mm -hmm. only mm -hmm. only only well I've come to know him as God the Lord my God and therefore worship him Luke 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord your God say worship. worship worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve you start to get this now well he is the one I walk with look around you'll find no other God he is God in the earth today he's the only one in the earth today what about Jesus Jesus shall return the real Jesus but the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he's the only one in the earth today and he's only one who are you gonna walk with mm -hmm. him yes. I think I'm annoying a lot of people <laughs> you'd think I'd come up with these messages just to annoy people but I'm not I'm trying to get them out of their religious thinking yes. my speech and my preaching is unveiling the Holy Ghost so you won't be ignorant mm -hmm. of him say of him. of him he's either a he or he isn't and he he's either God or he isn't he's either in the earth or he isn't mm -hmm. if he is mm -hmm. all of those things mm -hmm. where are we at then we only walk with the one God who's in the earth today Holy Ghost I mean some people don't like it this plain well that's, and the reason the reason they haven't gotten anywhere is because they don't hear it this plain or people aren't telling them mm -hmm. this <sighs> Hebrews chapter 10 verse 2 worshipers say worshipers, worshipers once purged should have no more conscience of sins because they were purged of their sins mm -hmm. well that wasn't the way it was under the old law but now in our day it should be once we're purged of our sins we should have no more conscience of our sins mm -hmm. are you here yes. but my point is can you see that the worshiper has something to do with their conscience mm -hmm. right yes. 
worshipers get a different conscience than other people have mm -hmm. your consciousness is your awareness of existence when you worship the Holy Ghost you become conscious of something different upload your consciousness into this place where the Holy Ghost is God and the way you do that is by worshiping him mm -hmm. you'll become conscious of something different mm -hmm. what do you think you'll become conscious of him him as God you as his temple you walking around with him in this day in this dispensation mm -hmm. what's that worth that's you being consecrated unto Holy Ghost yes. only upload your consciousness into this space using the words I worship you Holy Ghost only uploads you here this is where you end up you end up like me <laughs> you will be completely transformed and a complete transformation awaits you you won't be the same worshiping the Holy Ghost speaking in agreement with his word speaking his word only and by that we mean his promises you understand mm -hmm. and you refuse to say other things that aren't his promises about your situation there's an anointing in that worshiping him only and speaking in agreement with his word that will bring itself to pass in your life a complete transformation it's not about you In fact the Holy Ghost winks and is unaffected by your inabilities your shortcomings your inadequacies but it's not about you it's not about what you can do it's about what his word does to you we're separating ourselves unto him we're consecrating ourselves unto him only mm -hmm. he is a God of unlimited wealth he's a God of unlimited life he's a God of unlimited healing and health and youth renewal mm -hmm. would it be good to walk with him yeah. he's interested in his word coming to pass in your life and if you worship him and get in agreement by speaking his words he will have the new in you a completely transformed you to which nothing is impossible I thank you Holy Ghost that you have affected these people in their ears this day and they shall never be the same these words cannot return void and they shall be changed we worship you Holy Ghost and we give you all the praise and the glory in the earth in Jesus name Amen, amen. If you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. You, are God you are God in the earth today, the earth today. I thank you I thank that you. as I walk with you you will begin manifesting your abundance your prosperity and your wonderfulness in my finances and in every area of my life and business in Jesus name Amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth